on an old computer like an Apple machine where you have 64K, and that's your life, uh, those 64K memory locations, you know, there's a lot of empty there, but there's also very important locations in memory. There's on an Apple II, the Hex 2000 and 4000 are the high res screens, 800 is where basic starts, uh, 400s your text screen, these are all hex values. Zero page is very important to the 6502 processor, and then you basically kind of go up to where there's 8000 where DOS is, and, and C1000 where all the soft switches for all the hardware is at, and then D1000 where AppleSoft lives, and um, up all the way at the, the, the top of the ROM that Waz wrote. And, you know, um, knowing, knowing all of that is really important to programming really well on an Apple II. Knowing the entire uh, memory map of that computer was super important. They didn't have to have everything written down all the time. You know, like if I was going to, for some reason, in assembly in 6502, I was going to write some code to, um, to draw high-res lines on the screen because I didn't want to write my own Bresenham algorithm or something, and I wanted to use the ones that Waz wrote in, in, um, in the ROM, you know, I would uh, have to do the H position at F411. I'd have to set H position. Then I would have to draw the H line at uh, F457. And, you know, there's all these memory locations that I needed to remember. FC58 for home and, you know, F800 for plot. And, you know, all of these memory locations of the entire ROM up there, I memorized everything. And, um, and remembering and remembering and remembering over and over again really saved a lot of time so I could just pound out code really quickly and I have a book sitting next to me that I had to keep on looking stuff up.